Hi guys, another video. We're we're going strong today. Um, this is a game called This Bed We Made, uh, which is a kind of adventure game, a three D adventure game like Life is Strange or something like that. Um, kind of narrative narrative focus third person person game. Uh, you, you'll see with the gameplay, it kind of reminds you of Life is Strange. Uh, Unreal Engine Five. Indie game just came out today, I believe. It does have a demo if you want to check this out. Um, runs pretty well. I would say it kind of works well. Um, I don't know if they're doing something with Lumen or there's something going on, on with Global Illumination in UE5 where there's like every time the camera changes, there's like a very faint white outline on some objects, which I don't know if is um, like some denoiser or something going on with UE5. But overall, it, it performs pretty well. Um, run 90 hertz without uh, a, dip, a, a asynchronous space warp on ultra um, with a bit of upscaling. Um, it looks basically the same, um, but yeah, it looks really nice. Um, in VR, you can see a lot of the stuff there that they hide from you <laughs> in the, the normal pancake version. But all the UI is good. Um, it's one of these games where you can kind of like really. Um, analyze objects and it's really great to see them in vr like all the little details and um they put into the the world design and the environment um it has uh, english and french i think it's probably supposed to be played in with french uh language because it's in montreal in the late 1950s uh yeah you can see that like, like that um but yeah this is a nice little one i'd recommend putting it on your list if you like this kind of game uh in vr um, it's always nice to just get cozy and, and have a look. You see me, I'm opening the new menu. Changing cameras every now and again. But um, it's just the very start of the game, so no spoilers. Um, it's essentially just like the tutorial. Just so. Yeah, um, it's on sale as well. This bed we made, um, it's on a small sale. Um, £17.84 in the UK, which seems about reasonable. It's won a bunch of uh, awards for acting performance. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool. Um, Par la fontaine, les filles s'en vont et s'y promènent au bras des garçons qui les entraînent au cœur des buissons où elles étrennent l'amour en saison qui les enchaîne dans un tourbillon le vrai poème car dans les frissons naissent toujours les plus belles chansons d'amour au clair Back means done. Now just a bit of tidying up and I can go on break. <sighs> Nothing like a well made bed. <laughs> And voila, good as new. That's a lot of money to owe. Just what did you get yourself involved in? Hmm, 
these way. Are you in town for a business trip, maybe? at home. Look at her. Always glued to that gossip magazine. Do you think she has any real friends? Or is it just Gracie, Joan, and Marilyn? Well, when your own wife is that dull, you need to get your excitement somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you see Rebecca come in this morning? She was wearing the same clothes. Now, don't you think it will really This is exactly the kind of behavior Linda warned me about. <laughs> Sophie speaking. Hey, it's Beth. Do you think you could come up real quick? Um, sure. I'll be right there. You're right, you didn't. No, I realize I didn't want. I was so in love with you that I didn't see it. What? Let's see what Beth wanted to talk about. Tempting, but every penny adds up, Sophie. Hmm, now's not the time to pick up smoking, Sophie. Oh, shock. Leaving luggage in the lobby? Are you trying to get Bernard to kill you? This leak really needs to be fixed. I hope the weather doesn't make it worse. I'm not sure how the children are affected by what goes on at a bar on a Friday night. But I'm no lieutenant, so... Ah, my new home, according to Suzanne and Yvette. This is horrible. I don't think I'll ever understand what pushes people to go so far as killing. Wouldn't be surprised if everyone's a little bit more on edge today. Bad weather has a way of doing that. Poor Nicole. No one should be stuck cleaning up the reception hall after a ball, even if they did draw the short straw. Hey, Beth. Hey there. So, who's sleeping? Sleep what? You were whispering just now on the phone, so I thought maybe Eugene or Bobby were napping in the break room again. Oh, yeah, no. It's Jacques and Wendy. They were, um, in the middle of something. Ugh, it's so awkward when they start making out like no one's watching. Get a room. We literally work in a hotel. You said you needed me? Oh, straight to business then. Sorry, it's just a busy day. I get it. It's been non-stop for me this morning, too. Wanna guess why I summoned you here? I'm guessing there's something I have to clean? Obviously. 
But what is it? Uh, did a kid throw up again? God, no. Did that happen recently? Yeah, last week. I can still smell it. Feel it, too. While I was cleaning, some of it got- uh, I'm gonna stop you right there. Keep talking and you'll be cleaning up after me, too. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, no, you'll be glad to know it's nothing gross this time. A nice gentleman decided it was time to redesign the lobby and helped us by knocking over that vase on his way out of the hotel. That's it? I would do it myself, but the last time I tried to leave the front desk, Bernard emerged from his lair to scold me about procedures and whatnot. Well, we can't have the beauty of the Clarington Hotel take absence from her throne, can we? Oh, the people would riot. Bernard especially. <laughs> Bernard's hardly the people. Anyway, I have to get back to work. There's a mop in the supply closet next to Bernard's office, I think. Thanks. I'll see you around. <clears throat> that smell. If only we're allowed in there. My rag isn't gonna be enough for a mess like this. Better get him up. There's something so peaceful about looking out at a storm. From the inside. Where it's warm. And dry. Okay, let's get that mop from the supply closet. Linda, Wendy's great at her job. Guests absolutely love her and... <laughs> Not just guests, apparently. Oh, God damn it, Linda! I only like her because guests like her. Making sure guests are happy is my job, after all. You don't seem to care whether I'm happy. <sighs> Listen, if Wendy wasn't doing her job, that'd be another story, but I can't just fire her without good reason. What if she stirred up trouble among the staff? Would that be a good reason? Curiosity killed the cat. Oh, Andrew, hi. I, I was, I mean... I'm sorry, I was just... Spying on our manager? No, I, I heard something, and I... Hey, hey, hey. It's okay, I'm just pulling your leg. I'm... I'm sorry I scared you. I'm just... I, I'm not used to having people around me while I work. Yeah, you're always working alone up there, aren't you? I actually think it's the first time I've seen you down in the lobby. Don't tell me you've been sent to clean up after the Valentine's Day ball. Were you here Friday night to see the whole thing? Yeah. They had someone in charge of the event, but she ended up crying alone in the stairwell, so I had to take over. What happened? Did it really go so wrong? It certainly didn't go wrong for the people enjoying the party, but for those sober around them, that's another story. Good God. I'm glad I didn't have to be there. I don't know how you do it. And I don't know how you handle cleaning up after other people all day. You must see plenty of weird stuff, right? Yeah. What's the weirdest thing you found in a guest's room? It's a bit gross. Oh. I hope it's got nothing to do with bodily functions. God. I hope so, too. A few weeks ago, I walked into a room and found the trash can filled with cucumbers. Like, whole cucumbers. And some of them were carved, and I threw the whole trash can out that day. Don't tell Bernard. I won't. Oh, I, uh, I better go help Beth. It's hell here with the snowstorm. It's okay. I need to, um... Yeah, yeah all right. Take care. You too. As if it wasn't enough having to deal with this endless letters of advice from Raymond. Raymond? What does he want? Oh, he wants you to lower room prices. Make sure the hotel stays accessible to everyone. Oh, I can hardly believe you two are from the same family. And the cat should be sent to jail for those communist ideas. Please don't leave me alone, Bernard. 
Bobby made it very clear he doesn't like anyone walking into his kitchen uninvited. Okay, Sophie. Time to clean up that mess. I'm really sorry about that. I'll have a word with our kitchen staff to make sure it doesn't happen again. Well... A film roll? The guest must have dropped it when he knocked over the vase. Probably should return it to him. Ew. I better throw that away. I just put the leaves back in the vase, and it'll be like nothing ever happened. Maybe Beth remembers who knocked over the vase? He'll want his film roll back. I understand, Mr. Ramsey. I wish I could make the snowstorm disappear. I really do, but sadly, that's not within my power. Beth, who knocked over that vase? Mr. Spade. Mr. Spade? Well, I can check with the airport and let you know when flights resume. Until then... Yes, yes, I know. You've said that already. But... No, that's very unlikely. So, which room are you staying in, Mr. Spade? Well, you're welcome to speak to my manager if you'd like. I'm sure he'll be thrilled to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Room 505. Great. That's on my floor. I can return that film roll without going out of my way. Mm. I should go to the fifth floor to return Mr. Spade's film roll. Bella, if you know what I mean. Yes. yes, certainly. So first I suggest finding a nice little corner where you can kneel down, all right? Hold it, please. Uh. Andrew, are you okay? Yeah, it's just... Uh, I slipped on the puddle by the restrooms. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I probably should have cleaned that. Oh, no, no, it it's my fault. I should have asked Eugene to repair the leak. Which floor? Oh, uh, sixth. Thanks. What's the big rush? I need to bring this to our VIP guest. The one who rented the entire floor. Oh, is it that British man I keep hearing about? He's sort of a celebrity, isn't he? He sure acts like one. I wouldn't want to be that poor assistant he keeps shouting at. I wish I was assigned to clean his room. Can you imagine the weird things I'd find? Be careful what you wish for. I wouldn't be surprised if the man kept a few skeletons in his closet. Can't you tell me who he is? I've never actually met him. I always talk to his assistant. Only Bernard knows his identity. Oh. Um. I do have a suspicion, though. Oh? But I'm, I'm not sure I should say it. Can't you at least give me a hint? Hmm. Okay, let me think. Whew. Saved by the bell. Hey, come on. Don't leave me hanging. Let's just say... I like to prolong the suspense. Wait. Is that the hint? Hmm. Who knows? <laughs> Fair enough. Have fun up there. You too. I should return Mr. Spade's film roll. Room 505 is on my list anyway.
Mr. Spade, 